Hey guys, it's Felicia back with my spring BIBCL recommendations. It's just around the corner and super excited. Wanted to share with you the things I thought you guys should pick up because I definitely think they're worth the money and I like them. So I maybe you think you might like them too. Starting off with primers, I have two. First is the Smashbox Photo Fish. Well, the Smashbox Photo Finish primer water. The one I have is Centering Citrus, but the original A1. Looks like this is a mist. You spray it on your face. You can use it before and after your makeup, I find. Works really well for setting your face, keeping your cheeks looking all types of good as I throw my phone in the garbage, guys. Like, the struggle is so real today. What am I not struggling with these videos? Then for foundation, oh, the other primer all over the place is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I just have like a deluxe size of it and honestly I've been using it in my last few tutorials get ready with me gives you a nice glowy from within kind of look under your foundation I know I'm a combination oily kind of girl but I still really like this foundation unless my foundation wear really wear really wet wow really well throughout the day I don't really put it in my t-zone so much more like out here and here not straight in the center because you know as an oily girl it can get out, hand, get out of hand real quick and ain't nobody about that life. Jumping into foundations, a couple foundation recommendations. One is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. It's a 24 hour foundation. I have a deluxe size in Maple because if y'all watched me for a while, y'all notice I never finish anything and my deluxe sizes always last long enough until I'm ready. I'm probably not going to buy this foundation personally until the winter sale. Because hopefully by then, I finish a few foundations so I can, like, add to my collection again. But this is it. it. It's a really great foundation. It wears super well. I do have a review on it. I will leave it listed down below. It's a really nice full coverage, like medium to full, without looking heavy or cakey. It has a really great color selection. Like, bomb. Especially if you're, like, a woman of color and got some melanin to you. They have a really nice shade range. Another foundation I'll make a, a mention about is the Fenty foundation. I have the look size, full sizes again, and I really enjoy this foundation. I haven't worn it in a while in a video. Maybe I'll do that next week, but this foundation is really great. It wears really well. It gives you a nice soft matte finish. It leaves your skin looking very flawless and effortless, almost airbrushed, which is really nice because Nobody wants to look caked on, right? And with the Fenty products, they have such a nice range of shades. Like, Fenty did it with the whole color range. So I really like that. That foundation is good. Like that, I said, I'm not reading up on that foundation until the end of the year. Unless I change my mind and just bite the bullet. For concealer, I want to recommend the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I know I talk about this one almost every video. But it's such an amazing concealer. Every day, date night, it's beautiful. You can do a light coverage, full coverage. I have it in the color um, uh, nope, Caramel, which is perfect for my under eye and brightening up. It's what I'm wearing today with a light hand to it because it's very minimal. I'm just going to my daughter's birthday party. They don't want to go too wild with the concealer and brightness. Another concealer I really enjoy is the NARS caramel well soft matte concealer and caramel it honestly doesn't look like i've used it much but i use it for like my blemishes when i'm trying to go for more fuller coverage day but this concealer is amazing love it especially for like spot treatments i forgot to mention another foundation guys because i'm all over the place but the nars all day luminous weightless foundation is amazing i have it in the shade medium dark to tahoe this foundation is a dream. So nice and lightweight on the skin as well. It's about a medium coverage. You could get full coverage, but I'm not really a full coverage girl, so I don't really wear them the most. But I also have a review, like a first impressions on this one. I'll leave it down below. But I really enjoy this foundation. This shade's a little light for me, so I might re-up and get the darker one. We'll see how it goes. I do like this foundation. Now moving into eyes area. I don't really have an eyeshadow palette to talk about because I've mentioned my favorites in the last two 
Like, let's throw back an old school one that no one's mentioned in a while. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette is a really nice palette. Like, I have the first version. Super nice, really nice, neutral, everyday palette. It smells like chocolate. Why not? It's a really nice palette. Another oldie, which is a giddy, is the Tarte Tarte Lip Palette. This is the original. And it's the one that's more neutral. Like, this is my favorite Tarte Palette to date. Love it. I love how it's warm. And I love purples, matte shades. It's all matte, to be honest. It's lovely. Definitely going to pull this out for a video real soon, seeing I pulled it out just now. For eyeliner, I definitely recommend the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, the micro tip one. This is so great for doing your wing liner if you have hooded lids. So easy to work with, really enjoy it. Then, what else do I want to recommend to you guys? I really don't have a lot this time. Ooh, brow pencil. I'd recommend another one, which is precisely my brow, but I have the goof proof one right here from Benefit. This one is more angled, which is great for filling in your brows on a quick day when you're in a rush. Well, the precisely my brow is like A1. I don't know what it is. Probably my makeup bag that was gone last weekend. Well, those brow pencils from Benefit, legit A1. Especially if you want to try something different. I know everyone raves about the Anastasia brow, which I am a fan of that one as well. Haven't used it in a while, but it's a great brush. Well, eyebrow, pencil, and whatnot. Then, some face products. MAC is now on the website. I don't know if MAC is in store on Sephora, but the MAC Iridescent Powder Loose in the color Golden Bronze. I had this before it got discontinued way ages ago. And look, like I use it so much, it's still, I'm finally making a dent. Like I'm down to here now, which is progress, you know? A lot of it's in the lid, but whatever. It's a really beautiful highlight. This gives you a nice gold, rose gold kind of vibe. I am wearing it today. It's beautiful on the skin, like such a beautiful highlight. If you're not into loose highlights, you're not gonna like it. But this one is gorgeous. I really enjoy it, like it, like it. Then for setting powder, the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, the original one. I use this almost every day again now when I wear makeup under my eyes to set my concealer. Love it. Even works good for setting your eyelids if you use concealer on them and you're gonna like do some kind of eyeshadow look and whatnot. And then anything else I wanna recommend? Look at my little pile. No, that's really it. Well, there's some skincare that I don't have with me. The Laneige Sleeping Water Mask. That one, amazing. I have it in lavender. It is a one. I mentioned in my last favorites video, along with their lip mask, bomb. Honestly, you need your hands on if you have dry lips, dry skin, you need hydration. Those two products are bay. I should have brought them, but because I just mentioned them in my favorites, I decided not to. But I wanted to share with you guys what's on my wish list for Sephora. Not that I really need anything, anything, but I wanted to share with you guys what I'm hoping to pick up next week because it starts on the 26th. Let me look it up. I don't, I'm not with it right now. Trend mode is the place to go when you want to know anything that's coming up. Okay, look where it is in. Hold on. Trend. Oh, here we go. So, Springs VIB starts for Rouge. I am a Rouge, which means I spend over $1,000 a year on makeup at Sephora, and that's not the only place I shop at. So that means Homegirl has a problem. Well, that's okay. I'm living. Which runs from May 26th to the 6th and this time around we get 20% off last year was 15 for the spring sale 15 and then 20% for winter uh, VIB is May VIB and insider is from May 2nd to the 6th for VIB you get 15 for insiders 10% is in store and online I hope that the online is more than one coupon code because I personally like to use eBay's I'll link that down below because you save some coin well you get money back every quarter which is great i never get a lot back because i'm trying to shop like you know limit my shopping and whatnot but yeah back to what i want to get not that i really need anything but i want to get the Natosh natasha the natasha denona 
Biba All Natural, All Neutral Shadow Palette. It's $162 Canadian though, guys. So I have to like talk myself into that. But that is what the palette looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. Beautiful, so gorgeous. And all the reviews I've seen on it so far have been legit amazing. If you have this palette, let me know down below what you think of it. Next, I want to get the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Little Bronze Duo. So I really want to try Fenty Bronzer, but I don't need any more bronzers. And it's like $30 Canadian for the Caramel Cutie and the Cinnamon. Right? It's like the Cinnamon Matchstick. Match, is that what it's called? Yeah. Looks like that. My list is not too big. I just just finished my Sephora Solid Clean Brush Cleaner. So Homegirl needs a new one of that. So that's just automatically on the list. It's $10. I use it for cleaning my brushes, my beauty blenders. It's legit. I haven't used a Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Foundation face powder in a while. And I really enjoyed it when I had it. So this is what it looks like. It reminds me of the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, and I want to get it in the shade 40. I might even pick up the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Depends on how my mood is and how I'm feeling. But it's only $27 for the Sephora Collection one, which is very comparable. I do want to get one of the new Laneige Lip Glowy Balms because their lip masks are amazing. Currently, only one flavor is on style in stock online which is tragic, so you better hurry up before the sale comes through. Which is this one right here. My, my girlfriend got it and she says it's amazing. I need it hands down. And then I really want to get the Hula Henriksen Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. Especially because I've been getting all these recent breakouts from hormones. It's not a great time. It's $34, but it's a toner and everyone that I've seen review this so far has nothing but positive things to say they do say it does tingle a bit but that's okay your skin will get used to it and then lastly I want to get the Marc Jacobs Beauty mini set it's the coconut fix it comes with a deluxe size of the primer and the setting powder it's $30 as well and I'm all about little mini things because I never finish anything and minis are more doable for me for the most part, which is this little set. A lot of people really enjoy the primer. Not that I need another primer in my life, but the powder, I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. So I want to try that out as well. That's it really for my Sephora like wish list. I'm probably not going to get all that because I really don't need any of that. Except like the brush cleaner and the lip balm and the toner. I definitely need those. The other things, we'll see what happens. Um, leave a comment down below on what you're hoping to get from Sephora for this sale. Down below in a comment. I definitely have to hear about it. So when I do my winter one, because the winter one is when I do more damage, I can like compile a list of things to try. Follow me on all my social media. It'll all be down below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in another video real soon. Deuces.